You are now listening to the Sylvester McNutt the Third Podcast. Today's episode on the Free Your Energy Podcast is attracting the right people. Attracting the right people. Attracting the right people. People. Now, before we talk about attracting the right people, if you are the type of person who aspires to attract the right people in your life, guess what you need to be? You need to be the right person. In order to attract the right people for your life, you need to be the right person for your life. Mm. I'm going to say it again because I don't think you heard me. In order to attract the right people for your life, you need to be the right person for your life. See, I recall a time when I was not in my purpose, when I was not in my lane, when I was not in my passion. And I could think back to all those people and they were not bad people because I choose great people to be in my life. But I can see how some of those people didn't necessarily align with my spiritual goals, with my fitness goals, with my social goals, with my financial goals. I'm sure if you look at your life right now, you can see the exact same thing. Like, wow, wait a minute. This person may not actually align. They may not actually align with, with me, because, right? I want to become the best person I can become, right? Right? I want to be the best person I can be. And it's possible that some of the people in my life are stopping me. Not because they're evil, not because they're bad, but because I don't understand, see self-awareness, because I don't understand their impact on me. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? I need you to examine Before we talk about attracting the right people, I need you to examine who you are. I need you to examine your self-awareness. I need you to examine your behaviors, your mindsets. This isn't about judging yourself. It's not about putting yourself down. Self-awareness is about understanding. I need you to go on a quest to understand who am I right now? Not this who am I going to become and who can I be and what am I capable of? Today, who am I today in this moment? And when you can ask yourself that every day, who am I today in this moment? Then you are now dealing with truth. You are now dealing with reality. And when you deal in truth and reality, there are no limits. But when you deal with self-imposed lies about who you are, who you are not, you will never manifest the life that you think you deserve. You will always have the wrong people in your life. You will never be aligned in a career that actually motivates you and pushes you and helps and takes care of your financial needs because you're lying to yourself. So before we talk about attracting the right people, we have to talk about being the right person. We have to talk about being the right person. And that's my question to you today. Do you feel like you are the right person? You may be. And if you're the right person right now, don't change. You're good. You're good. Keep keep the energy where you are right now. As a matter of fact, Someone texted me, uh, a friend of mine, Florida, she texted me. And she's like, you know, how's your life going? How are you doing? And I said, I'm doing great. I'm living a life of love and compassion. And she texted me back and she was like, well, it sounds like you're trying to reach for, you know, a certain state of being. It sounds like you're trying to reach for a certain, uh, a certain plateau, a certain place. And I understood where she was coming from because I, I understand the context of how she thinks. But no, me personally, I'm not reaching for anything. I'm not aspiring for anything. You want to know why? Do you want to know why I'm not aspiring for anything? Do you want to know why I'm not reaching for anything? Because I am already in my lane. I am already in my purpose. I am already doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't take shit from anyone. I wake up every day and I try to live a life of love and compassion. I have healed from my past traumas. I am doing a career that I love. I have friends that I like. I like myself when I wake up. I'm content with what I have. I'm open to learning new things, to going to new places, to trying new ideas. I understand that what I know is not enough. 
I do. I am not in my ego. I am willing to be wrong. I am willing to make mistakes. I'm willing to fail. So because I am at that place of my life, I am exactly where I need to be in my purpose daily. <laughs> so when we talk about attracting the right people in our lives, I just have to ask you, are you the right person? And if you say, no, I'm not the right person, that's OK. You don't have to beat yourself up because what is the one word I have been teaching and, 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 and yelling all year? Compassion. If you are not where you want to be in your life, that is OK. Have compassion for yourself. There is really nowhere you have to be. You can be where you are and be fine with it. Have compassion for yourself. Now, if there is something you're aspiring for, something you want to create or something you want to do, you have to be patient and you have to have compassion for your journey. You have to be willing to fail. You have to be willing to lose. You have to be willing to say, hey, I got to get out of my ego and I need to learn. And I need this person to teach me and I need that person to teach me and I'm going to learn from that person and I'm going to learn from my mistakes and I'm going to become the right person because I want to attract the right people for me. So I'm going to become the right person. Chasing the wrong people or attracting the right people. This is our first subject. See, when you live in your daily purpose, you don't chase the wrong people. I don't chase anyone. If you want to be in my life, you will be. You will you will give effort. <laughs> if you want to be in my life, you will give the effort. You will call, you will text, you will show up. You will you'll meet me at the gym. You'll come when I'm doing my podcast and 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 have a sandwich or some pie or or coffee with me. You'll say, "Hey, come visit me here. Hey, let's go on this trip. Hey, let's do this. Hey, I got a great idea." You will show up. The same goes for your life. Those are, that's called the right people. When you attract the right people, they show up. You don't have to convince people to be in your life. You don't have to convince people to like you. You don't have to beg people to give you attention. And if you find yourself doing that, it's actually not their fault. It's your fault because, like I asked you, are you the right person? You're not the right person. You're not the right person. And because you're not the right person, because you're not right with yourself, you're chasing people. You're chasing other people's validation. You're chasing attention from other people who don't even want to give it to you. They don't even want to give it to you. The only people who are in my life right now are the people who, are, who consistently make effort to be in my life. I don't give a damn about chasing anyone. You don't want to be here? Fine. You're not required to. You don't owe me anything. Just like <laughs> I don't owe you anything. Like I'm not required to be in your life. I'm not required to talk to you. I'm not required to call you. I have free will. I can do what I want, just like you can, just like these other people can. So when you see that people are, are, are making you chase them, it is your choice to chase them. You have deemed yourself unworthy of attracting people who actually want to be in your life by chasing people who don't want to be in your life. Snap out of it because you don't have to do that. <laughs> All you have to do is get on your purpose, get on your daily purpose, get on your fitness plan, get on your nutrition, get on your spiritual plan, get focused on your career, get focused on giving the best to your family, get focused on giving the best to yourself. That's about it. I really don't know what else there is outside of that. Have fun. Have a little bit of fun. Get focused on being the right person. If you be the right person, you will attract the right people. And you don't have to chase the wrong people. The other day I got a text. Hey, come here. Come do this. Now, it's one of these people that I'm referring to about a person who's not consistently in my life. Who doesn't consistently add value to my life. Hey, come over here. Come do this one thing. Now, nah, I'm not going to be able to make that. Well, how come? Well, I'm working on my book and I have to write my script for my podcast. So, you know, I'm not going to be able to make that. Well, you know, the podcast isn't until like four days. You don't record until Friday. Yeah. So. Like there's there's a <laughs> like you can put a 
you can put a limit on what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to just drop, stop, and, and, and roll to go do something over there that's not productive, that's not going to help my goal? Huh? Like, I, I, have to, I have to stop my podcast situation so I can go hang out with y'all? Y'all ain't doing... Y'all ain't doing shit over here. You want me to... You want... <laughs> You want me to stop being productive to go play around with some people who aren't doing anything. I already told you I'm on my purpose. I'm already told you I will not be distracted from my purpose. I already told you I'm not the one for the games. I don't feel like playing a game. You know, when I want to play the games, when I want to party, when I want to turn up, I will. But when I'm focused on my purpose, there is nothing that will shake me from that. Nothing. So... Maybe you should invite me to go to the coffee shop so I could work on my podcast and you could do your work and we could do our work together and then we could bounce ideas off of each other. But uh, but telling me to meet you at the bar to turn up and get drunk when I'm trying to be productive, when I have 6 a.m., 7 a.m. workouts, I can't, hey, come on, we, we're not aligned. We're not aligned. <laughs> we're not aligned. So I'm not, I'm not the right person for that text message that you wanted to send. I'm not the right person. I'm the right person for what I'm trying to do over here. And if you can align with that, then, you know, we don't have to chase each other. We can, boom, we're the right people for each other. But also, I'll tell you what, because someone, someone will say, well, Sylvester, what about balance? What about having fun? Isn't it okay to just go get drinks? Do you have to work all the time? And I'm not saying that you do have to work all the time. I'm not even, I haven't even mentioned work. To me, I'm talking about my purpose. Doing this podcast is a part of my purpose. I have to come in here every week and I have to talk to you every week. It's not work to me. It may be work to you. Maybe your job is work to you. But this goes back to what I'm talking about, about aligning yourself in a career that you genuinely love. Doing this podcast at this point in my life is a part of my identity. Because I get to speak and I love speaking. It's actually practice for me. So when I get back on the road and I'm doing my motivational speaking tours, I've practiced every single week for hours in front of the camera, in front of a microphone, in front of the lights. So this is part of my purpose. <laughs> so I'm not missing my purpose for alcohol, for drinks. Now, when I get done recording, we can go get some drinks. But... I'm focused on my purpose. And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to focus on your purpose. You don't have time for the nonsense. You don't have time to play these games with people. Yeah, you can balance. You can balance life. But you don't have time for games. You have to prioritize your purpose. You have to figure out what that is every single day when you wake up. A lot of people think purpose is some grandiose thing. No, I believe in daily purpose. When I woke up today, I told myself there was three things I had to do. I had to be a, so I rate my energy, right? I rate my energy and I rate other people's energy on a scale of one to 10. Yesterday, I was a six. When I woke up today, I said, I want my energy to fluctuate between seven and nine today. I want to be a seven to nine all day. I want to go between seven, eight, and nine. And if I'm so happy, if I, if I can hit 10, cool. But I want to go between seven and nine. I want to give myself a good range. I've been a nine all day. I may, maybe I even have been a 10. I don't know. I don't want to jinx myself. But I feel like I've been a, a at least a seven, eight, nine all day. Now, in school, you pass a class with a seven, eight, or nine. So I'm passing. <laughs> I'm passing right now. I want you to focus on your purpose each day. You want to know the other two things? Okay. <laughs> the other two things I wanted to do was I wanted to have the best podcast of the year, which I, I don't know how you measure that. I don't know if that's possible, but I just wanted to come into it with that energy. And then I wanted to get two workouts. So I already got one workout. I went and shot the basketball and then I did a uh, bench press. I'm going to go back a little bit later. And I'm going to run a couple miles, maybe four or five miles if I, if I can, hopefully. So you got to wake up every day and you got to, you got to make a purpose for that day. You have to make a purpose for that day. That's how you become the right person. That's how you attract the right people. You get on your daily purpose and you focus. Focus on your purpose for that day. 
personally, I'm a task oriented person. So this is a very easy for me. When I set my when I say, hey, this is what I need to do. I focus on that and I don't allow myself to be, I don't, you know, I, I think uh, the term is ADD, attention deficit disorder, where people will get easily distracted. Um, and I, I'm not going to act like I understand the totality of what that is. But as far as I understand, uh, it's people who will start a task and then they'll get distracted. They'll, they'll start doing something else. Like they won't finish the task. I think I've also experienced that. Um, I'm not. I can't sit here and tell you I have the disorder, because um, I'm not sure how the neurons and everything works in the brain. So I don't want to be naive and speak on something I don't understand. But I have experienced where I started something, then all of a sudden I'm looking at my phone, or I start something, and all of a sudden I'm outside walking around, just doing something random that you know is not what I was trying to do. And I'll tell you guys what works for me when I start realize and I get distracted the very first thing is I turn my phone off when I'm working on my book I turn my phone off when I'm working on my podcast I try to keep my phone off because I know that the ding 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 is a distraction it's designed to be a distraction so I'll turn that off I'll make sure I don't get notifications I don't want it to distract me from my mental focus um, the other thing that I'll do is I'll make a list like even right now while I'm recording this I have a list of things that I want to talk about because you know I get emotional I'll get on a tangent I'll get happy I'll get excited and then I'm talking about you know giraffes <laughs> and it's like how do we get on the subject of giraffes well you got on giraffes because you had no plan like you had no purpose you just you just went into it doing whatever you wanted to do So write down a plan that'll probably help you. And I'm going to leave you guys with this. This is very important. This week, I wanted to do a short podcast. Last week was an hour long. I wanted to come with a short podcast this week. An important one, an impactful one. And I'm, I'm hoping I'm giving you that. Now, the last thing I want you to do, think about uh, as far as attracting the right people uh, versus chasing the wrong people is I want you to minimize your life. When you minimize your life, you make it easier for the right people to be a part of your life. You make it easier to become the right person. So when you focus on minimizing your life, you make your life easier. Go through your closet. Get rid of clothes. Like, if you haven't worn it in 90 days, get rid of it. Go through your phone book, the useless apps. Like, organize your phone. Make sure you're, you have a purpose for using your phone. Go to your car. Clean out your car, your book bags. Clean out your bags. Make sure everything is in order. You want to minimize your life. Make sure, you know, I remember seeing this study, and it says something like, people who make more decisions, more decisions daily are more stressed out. So reduce the amount of decisions you have to make each day. Well, if you can put something on autopilot, put it on autopilot. You don't have enough energy to put it on a million different things. And that's why a lot of people don't finish tasks. That's why a lot of people are not focused on purpose. That's why a lot of people are unsuccessful because they take all their energy and they put it everywhere. And I'm telling you right now, I consider myself to be a successful person. I've written seven books. I've had bestsellers lists. I've traveled the world and I've spoken to people. I've put hundreds of people in the room. I've changed people's lives. I live solely off of my own entrepreneurial efforts. I consider myself to be a successful person. And one of the most important things that I do is I focus. I focus on my task at hand and I don't break my focus. I don't let anyone break my focus. I don't care what party it is. I don't care how much money they're offering over there. I don't care who's giving attention over there. When I'm focused on my purpose, nothing will break me from my focus. Nothing. I don't care about breaking my focus for distractions. So if you want to be successful, if you want to get to where you want to be, if you want supreme mental health, if you just want to be happy, minimize your life, get rid of the stuff that doesn't need to be there and focus on your purpose each day. Focus on your task each day. My friends, this is the Free Your Energy podcast with me, your host, Sylvester McNutt III.
If you've never heard of me before, thank you for finding me. Thank you for giving me a chance. I drop podcasts every Sunday, and if something happens, you can catch it Monday morning. My intention for doing that is that you can watch it and listen Sunday morning. I'm sorry, Sunday night with friends and family, you know, loved ones, you know, after a day of Sunday fun day or or, or whatever. And then Monday, you know, maybe you don't listen Sunday. You tune in Monday on your way to work. I want to be with you. I want to make your weeks better. I want to make your life better. I want to improve your life. I want to inspire you to be your greatest self. That's why I'm here. That's why I am here. Thank you for tuning in. To you guys on YouTube, thank you for watching. Now look, I'm going to I'm going to do this in 10 seconds, okay? I have all the social medias. Add me. My name Sylvester McNup III. Add me. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn. I think I even have a Tumblr. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. Find me wherever you consume your social media. Go to the social media Add me on there right now and just send me a message. Say, hey, I found you on your podcast. Send me a message. I'll respond. I will do my best to respond. Friends, I try to live a life of love and compassion. That is what I'm trying to get to. Uh, Don't take shit from anyone. All right? Focus on your passions. Focus on your purpose. Do your best to do right by the next person. All right? Do your best to do right by the next person. That's how we make this world a better place. We all have that personal accountability. I got to go. I got to go. I'm recording my audio book today for my eighth book, Free Your Energy. Uh, I have to go. I really, really, really am really motivated and inspired for this project. If you want to get one of my books, go to SylvesterMcNutt.net or Amazon.com. They have them on there. They ship everywhere. My friends, I'm just sending y'all good energy. I gotta go. I gotta go.